A busy week on this Veterans Day for President Trump. The commander in chief set to speak in New York City a few hours from now as the impeachment inquiry goes public this week. Meanwhile, prosecutors in the Big Apple continue to quietly investigate President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. ABC's Megan Trevisian has the latest. Public hearings in the impeachment inquiry will begin on Wednesday. First up will be William Taylor, America's top diplomat in Ukraine. He's already testified behind closed doors. It was his clear understanding there was a quid pro quo. The impeachment inquiry about to enter a new phase going public this week. Expected up first, William Taylor, the top diplomat in Ukraine, who already testified behind closed doors. It was clear millions in military aid would be withheld unless there was an investigation into the president's political rivals. An arrangement Taylor called crazy. This is a very strong case of bribery. Republicans want to hear from the anonymous whistleblower who first raised the flag. If they don't call the whistleblower in the House, this thing is dead on arrival in the Senate. This comes as former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley in a new memoir out this week claims former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and White House Chief of Staff John Kelly undermined and ignored the president because they were trying to save the country. And now the New York Times is reporting a lawyer for one of Rudy Giuliani's indicted associates told them Giuliani directed him to deliver an ultimatum to the Ukrainian government that the U.S. would freeze aid if the country did not investigate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. There is no evidence Joe or Hunter Biden have done any wrongdoing, and President Trump and Rudy Giuliani have repeatedly denied these claims. Megan Tavrizian, ABC News, New York.